Wow, oh my gosh. Welcome back, gang. We're up here in Maine. Unfortunately, it's just me on today's video. No Spencer, no Alex, no Sam Dice. Uh, I am alone in the woods. No, I guess I'm completely alone. I, I do have Lucky here. But other than that, we're doing a solo video today. I thought this would be a great opportunity to kind of adventure and explore some of the surrounding land that isn't necessarily mine, but that is public adjacent to where I live. Today's video, we're just gonna have a day of it, gonna spend some time in the woods, do something that I don't get to do that often, that is just kind of get lost in the wilderness. Last night, we got absolutely dumped on by snow. It looks like Narnia up in this biz. One thing I also totally forgot about to mention in some of my previous videos up here in Maine is that I'm still trying to figure out a name for the main camp, the cabin that I that I purchased. I need a good name, I need a, I need something solid that's really gonna stick and that, uh, that will sound good in the video. So here is, what the hell is going on here? Here are some of the names that uh, I picked from you guys, you guys gave me these suggestions. Starting off with Lunker Bunker, which I actually really like. <laughs> then the other <laughs> name suggestion was Camp Claw, because I guess I drink a lot of White Claws, or the Googans in general just drink a lot of White Claws. Uh, I kind of like that one as well. Uh, the main attraction, spelled M-A-I-N-E, very punny. I like that one too, it's just kind of a mouthful. I guess we could call it TMA, the TMA camp. Moose Alley, which I dig because there's a lot of moose up here in Maine. <laughs> the Stabbing Cabin, I don't, <laughs> I like that one, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know if just no way I could get away with that if my mom is watching this video. Uh, <laughs> then the last one we have is the Wiener Woods, which I think is pretty cute, but I don't think it's the best name for the cabin. I think the woods behind the cabin should be called the Wiener Woods. That to me makes a ton of sense, but you guys let me know. Let's vote right now in the comment section below. Tell me which one you think is the best, whichever comment gets the most upvotes, then we will go with that name and we'll have it mounted right at the top of the cabin. How sick would it be to have like a sweet little name mount? But uh, let's get after it. You guys know that that's on my brain right now. I'm thinking, I'm still thinking the names of the cabin, the camp, whatever you want to call it. I, I, I keep forgetting that you can't call this a cabin up in Maine, it's a camp, so I'm working on that. Let's take a look at some of the gear that I'm gonna bring on today's uh, hiking exploratory mission. I'm packing very minimal stuff, but definitely enough to get by uh, for a few hours in the woods, so let's check it out. Wiener! Hey, Weens, we were just talking about you. Whew. Oh, wow. Okay, so, uh, Cabin's a little messy. I will admit I am doing some organization, but for now you'll just have to bear with the fact that uh, it's looking like a garage sale in here. An absolute yard sale, if I will say so myself. I literally just moved into this place only a few weeks ago, and I'm also bouncing between Texas and here and other places. Let's open up this curtain. Oh yeah, look at all this light we got. We got light on light on light. Okay. Whew. Okay, we're back inside for just a brief moment because I want to take this time to show you what I'm gonna be bringing on today's micro expedition. So I don't plan on fishing or killing anything today for my food, so I'm just going to bring a little bit of Campbell's chunky tomato and steak soup. And then we've got a chewy bar for dessert. Got the spoon, of course, to eat the soup. I'm literally gonna be out there for just a few minutes, so this should tie me over and give me enough energy. Then over here, we've got the means of cooking the food and starting a fire. Little overkill, I will admit, but I do wanna try out this uh, BioLite that I got about a year ago. I've used it since, uh, but I haven't used it in a winter condition, so I wanna see how it works when it's a little bit colder out. So if you guys know what this is, I'll, I'll, I'll briefly explain it later, but essentially it is like a way to charge your electronics while also cooking a meal and staying warm. It's a weird device, I can't explain it, but it's really cool, I'll show you guys how it works today. To start the fire, we're gonna bring some Strike Anywhere matches. It's all I have in the cabinet right now, I don't have any waterproof matches, so this will have to do. And uh, again, a little overkill, but we've also got some fire starters. The only reason why I'm bringing this is because we just had a ton of snow last night, and some of that wood may be a little bit wet. So I'm thinking we'll need a catalyst to get that flame going for today's video. For safety and just extra tools purposes, I, I'm bringing an extra pair of gloves in case my primary ones get soaked to the bone. And then I'm bringing these guys right here. I am gonna be walking at River's Edge today to see if there's any fish in there for future videos. So I do want these on around my neck, on around my neck at all times. And I'll show you again how these work on today's session as well. The tool that I'm gonna be using to carry all this is this waterproof Filson bag. I've had this for many years now. It's been to Africa, it's been to Australia, it's been to, I'm pretty sure this went to Indonesia as well. Um, but it's a great bag. There's nothing super proprietary about it, but I just like it and it's waterproof. Those are the two big things. It's comfortable and it's, yeah, it's not gonna get my gear wet. So anyway, let's get all of this stuff packed up and then we will hit the trail. Sled's a little snowy this morning. Probably should have put the cover on last night. Well, 
that trail was a lot greasier than I thought it'd be, but we made it back here. It's quiet. You can tell no one has been back here in a very long time, which really excites me because I always like hanging out in areas that are semi untouched. Woo! I can breathe. What I'm standing over right now is supposed to be a running brook or running creek. Uh, Dice and I came here about a week and a half ago and it was running hard, but it appears all this cold weather we've got here in Northern Maine has, uh, has frozen the creek, but you could tell this place would be really cool once the water's running, check it out. Right there is the creek, and then right there is the creek, and right here is a bridge. Yeah, so let's just, uh, I don't know, let's walk the creek edge, see if we can find some running water, and cook up some lunch. <laughs> we got the whole place to ourselves. This is amazing. So, here's the plan. We're gonna leave the sled right here, and uh, from this point, we're gonna venture on foot, carrying nothing but, uh, well, what, what you saw that is in this bag, including, of course, the, uh, the machete. Okay, ready to go. I'm gonna follow this creek bed up until I can hopefully find a bit of running water. Looks like the water's a bit low. You can see probably where the original level was at, right where that gap in the ice is sticking out. But I wouldn't be surprised if there was still running water underneath this snow and ice. I imagine if we find a little waterfall or a riff area, we'll find some open water. Although it has been very, very cold in Maine these past few nights, which can freeze just about anything. Here we go. Here's some running water. So that brook is still going. Not by much, but at least it's still pushing some fresh water down. Let's see how close we can get here. Don't risk it too much. Must be a good amount of current, probably some deeper water here too, keeping this section from freezing. That's so neat. Water's crystal clear too. I imagine there's probably some trout in here, maybe some suckers. I don't know. There's, there's definitely something living in this water. It looks too good to not have some life. Whoa. Bit of ice here. That was spooky. Just a bit of sheet ice. Yeah, this looks like it all used to once be a part of the creek when the water's high. That right there, no go zone. Definitely don't want to walk on that. I'm just gonna take my time. Yeah, you can see there's some ice under here. That's kind of what's making that cracky noise. Just a bit of soil under the ice though, no exposed water. Still always gotta be careful though. Went through a little bit there. There we go. Oh, check that out. That's an ankle breaker for sure. It's crazy to think there's a lot under that snow that you can't see that uh, could really mess you up. When I'm thinking about it. This would actually be a really cool place to hunker down and have a meal if I can hollow it out some more. Oh yeah. Look at this. Check this out. This is actually perfect. Nice little area protected from the elements. We can post up here for a bit, cook our meal, have a nice little bite. I think this is gonna be the spot we're gonna cook our soup. This is kind of a coincidence, but I was walking along the creek edge trying to find some open water, maybe looking for some fish or two, I don't know. And I fell through this hole, but I think this would be a perfect little spot to hunker down for a few minutes, cook our soup, and uh, just kind of get refueled as I continue down the creek. I've walked probably about a, I don't know, about a mile or so without seeing too much open water. So I figured let's just, let's just chill for a bit. Look at this thing. Definitely has some volume for sure. Very nice. Right now I'm gonna clear away some of the snow. So I've got a nice spot to build a fire. Gonna just pack that snow up under the earth. Oh wow. This is the ice that's under the snow right now. That's making it kind of difficult to walk. There was actually kind of a layer of just nothing between the ice and the ground. And then on top was the snow because the water probably rose then froze over and then the creek recited back to its normal pool. And then it just left this block of ice that used to be the high water mark and stuff. It's made for a nice little home for me today. Just gonna pack some of this snow, make it a little bit more livable. <laughs> and then uh, we'll get a fire going and maybe some food. I've cut out a nice little den in the snow and ice. Check out all the layers down here, it's so crazy. It's like, you've got ice right here, and you've got one layer of ice right there, and then like another right there, and the third, and then it's all just powdery, dense snow. I didn't plan on making a den today, but this is actually perfect. It's gonna be super easy to make a fire in here. We can make the most of it. Very cool. <laughs> Alright, 
finally managed to find some half decent wood here. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna light, but we'll try our very best. Everything is just so wet right now. We've had rain, then snow, then ice, then back to snow. So this wood has gone through the ringer, but that seems pretty decent to me, pretty dry. So I'm gonna get the, get the fire going right here and we'll get all cozy. This is so nice, man. I love it. <laughs> First match going down. Oh man, that feels nice. We've got a little fire going, it's a micro fire. And I probably couldn't have got it done without uh, 50 matches and a whole stick, a fire starter. But it's a fire. I've noticed that a lot of this wood is super damp, making it kind of difficult to get something going. But as you can see, we do have some substantial flames, enough to stay warm and then also cook some food. Still working on that fire, it seems to be going in and out, uh, but I found a solution. I stumbled upon this dying tree, that pretty much this dead tree that had all this dead bark on it. It was about the only dry tinder I was able to find around this whole area without absolutely breaking my back. And look, she is roaring. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, all my larger tinder is soaked to bits, but at least we got this going. That right there should be enough to cook the soup on for today's expedition. That's a good looking fire. Oh, oh, oh yeah, now we're talking. Looks like our fire is starting to die down a little bit. It's still super warm. I have lost my flame, which isn't a bad thing because this means that I can now easily cook my soup wherever it's at. Here we go. Get some of the Campbell's. It's on today's menu. I'm gonna open this sucker up and I'm just gonna put it right on the coals. It should cook pretty quickly since this is metal. Give you guys an up close look at today's meal. Looking super appetizing. Spread apart just those bits and pieces right there and set it right over the coals. Should cook pretty easily. Let's see what happens. All right. It's so funny how I stumbled upon this little spot today. I literally hit a hole, uh, which kind of surprised me. And then I thought, well, let's make the most out of this. And that's why uh, I'm now sitting in a little den, cooking some soup. It worked really well. It's a lot easier to make fires in situations like this. Also holds a little bit more heat. And uh, especially on a cold day like today, you want to try to stay warm. I'm not necessarily dressed to the nines and tens. I figured we'd do a little fire in this enclosed area. The soup is, oh yeah, that's hot. <laughs> Not ideal for cooking the soup, but those coals still hold plenty enough heat. Okay, I think the soup's ready. Got our chewy bar, got our spoon, and most importantly, we got our Campbell's Chunky Noodle Soup. Wow, that actually did pretty nice. Thing's fully steaming. Probably gonna be a little bit cold, but oh no, that definitely cooked. She's steaming. Hmm. Well, oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. It's so funny, the whole time I've been back here, I've not heard a single car, snowmobile, person, plane. I feel like I've got this whole woods to myself. Even nature's pretty solemn this morning. Haven't heard too many birds chirping. Haven't seen any wildlife. Mm, that was delicious. That was pretty cool. Definitely urge you guys to get out there and do some exploring. I know this is kind of a different video opposed to me going out and fishing, but I've been fishing hard for the past like three days. We literally fished from like 4 a.m. to, I don't know, like 4 p.m. Did 12 hour days on the ice. I figured this would be kind of nice to change things up. And this isn't in vain too. I actually want to check this creek out for like future spring and summer fishing endeavors. I want to fish a lot of small brooks and hidden waters up here in Maine. It's ridiculous as to how much water is Maine. And with that in mind, there's like a myriad of secret ditches, ponds, brooks, rivers, streams that probably don't get fished that often. So that's one of my goals for 2020 is to find areas that people have not fished much of and it's probably gonna be hard to find those areas but i'm gonna try my best holy nut that's good wow i wish you guys could have a bite of this here take a bite of that oh delicious nothing like a little canned meat and taters <laughs> that's good Okay, we are all packed up, ready to head back towards camp. One thing I do want to mention, which is a very obvious point to bring up, but I'll just say it anyway, is to always take back with you what you brought in the woods. That includes your trash, 
any sort of paper like even though paper can dissolve you just don't leave it out there it's, it's just you know just use that tip the, this, these kind of places are amazing obviously i didn't see any trash today there's no signs of human life it's so weird i don't know why people leave their trash it's like one of the easiest things to avoid but i think just i don't know i think some people just cut corners but anyway along with that of course put out your fires too uh, even in the winter time it's just good to extinguish any sort of embers or flames that you had gone but that's it we're ready to head on out of here we're gonna make the trek back towards camp and hopefully we don't run into a moose actually that'd be kind of sick running into a moose would be dope i just hope it's a friendly moose Woo, that was a hike okay back to the sled we made it no moose action thankfully yeah no one stole it too that's good it's always good when no one steals your sled let's rip the trail back have about a five mile run on the snowmobile and by the time we get back uh i don't know what probably time to go to bed get late already sun's already starting to set i can't believe it the days are so short here in maine it's ridiculous okay Whew. let's get after it God dang helmet, what in the nut? Oh, we made it back. You know what guys, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I know it was an efficient video. I know it was kind of off par as to what I'm usually doing on this channel. Over the past, like I think two weeks, I've, I've been up here in my camp. I've caught fish that I've never caught before. I've seen things that I've never seen before. I've met people that I've never got a chance to meet in the past just because of how unique Maine is. And I'm honestly so jealous of a lot of you guys that grew up here in Maine because it's a beautiful place. There's a lot to do here, as you saw today. We were able to make a day of it out in the woods and have fun and just kick it. But that being said, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, uh, basically where we just have a day in the woods, let me know in the comment section below. I think it would be cool to change up the terrain every now and then. Maybe we do a half day, maybe we do a full day. Maybe we do like a 48 hour camping session or something like that i don't know but you guys drop me a comment down below let me know give me some ideas i think it'd be cool to do a video like this on a mountainside or maybe go out on the ice and find like a little island or explore some stuff that no one's been back to uh, in quite some time but you guys let me know again i'm making these videos for you so if you don't enjoy it then we'll ixnate but if you guys do then we'll keep it rolling. Usually this is where I end the video, but there's one thing I wanna check, that being my trail cams. This is the first time I've ever thrown corn out in front of my trail cams. I've got three trail cams up, so I'm gonna pull the SD cards and all these trail cams, bring them back to the camp, and we're gonna check the footy to see if maybe we got some big deer on uh, on camera, or maybe Sasquatch himself, I don't know. Yeah, let's go check out the cams. Noodles, lucky, <whistles> lucky. Hey there, noodles. Oh God, why are you so, you're so spooky? Yeah, how you doing? Ugh. Hi. Yes, I love you too. Mwah. There is so much wildlife in Maine that we literally could have gotten any sort of animal on these trail cams, but what we're really looking for is deer. I wonder if we saw any wild wiener dogs. I heard they're not native to Maine though. Except this one, she's native. Here are the two SD cards. This one is closer to my property, I believe, and then this one is pretty much at the very end. I'm gonna throw a screen recording on right now. First SD card going in the hole. So, by the way, we formatted all these cards so there shouldn't be any old footage. Okay, that's us putting the trail cam in. That's us leaving. Oh, look at that. Check it out. We got a snowshoe hair. <laughs> it's the first time I've caught one of those guys on the camera. I'm pretty sure it's a snowshoe. It might be a regular hair. I'm not really sure, but it's a damn big rabbit. Wow, look at the size of that thing. He's huge. Let's see if we can zoom in. That is one big ass rabbit. Okay, cool. Let's watch this video. <clears throat> that one up front's pretty large. Can't tell if it's my perspective, but he seems pretty big. Or are those little ones? Those, oh, those are just really tiny deer that are next to him. More deer. It's a good sign. It means that they're coming in on the corn. They came in instantly, too. They are grubbing hard. That one on the right looks pretty big. It's so hard to tell this time of year, too. Like, I'm obviously not an expert, but... Most of the males, I believe, the bucks drop their antlers, their shed, so they shed their antlers. So uh, it's tough to tell what's a male and a female, just from my inexperienced eye. Yeah, so far nothing that just blows my mind. I mean, just a lot of deer, like a ton of deer. Looks like that one's got a nick. You guys see that? It almost looks like that deer's been nicked up by something. That or his coat got a little messed up. Look at him. 
he's throwing the snow aside to get to the corn. They're such interesting animals. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe he just hit a branch or something, but that looks strange. Looks like he's got like some sort of scarring. Um, yeah, and then that's the, that's the end of that. That's me picking up the cam. Okay, well, nothing extraordinary, but we did get some more deer, and we saw our first snowshoe hare on footy. I think it's a snowshoe. I'd have to assume it is. What are you shaking about? What are you shaking about, Stinky? You'll get a snowshoe hare? Go get him. Go get him. There he is. Get him. Holy nut. Look at all these guys. Holy sh**. Wait, is this a video? Oh, no. That's crazy. What is he doing? Oh, oh they're fighting. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! They're getting rowdy. And then the next clip is a picture of one that looks like he's fully on his hind legs. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. And I'm assuming it's a doe. I've seen that once before where they get like really nasty with each other. It'd be cool if I had a, that on video. Is this maybe the video of, oh man. That'd be a sweet clip to have on video. Oh my God, they're all over. There's deer on the pond. There's deer on the corn. Jeez, man, so many deer. And that's the end of that. Nothing crazy, man. But we still are seeing deer. It's, it's, it's so funny, like, I never, maybe this is common, but like as soon as we put down the, the corn, there was deer on it instantly. So there's, there's some serious wildlife back there, without a doubt. Well, gang, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, if you wanna see more videos that are like this one that you just watched, let me know down below. Uh, all of your input, obviously, I take to heart, whether that be ice fishing videos, Texas bass fishing videos, or stuff like this where we spend a day out in the woods exploring, adventuring, and just doing some, I don't know, just getting after it, basically. I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I appreciate the view. As always, folks, keep exploring. Never stop. <laughs> oh, shit, I almost dropped the camera. <laughs>